Chapter of Al-Aniya, Vessels and Utensils Why are vessels and utensils mentioned in the book of Tahara? Water is a fluid that can only be stored and preserved in a container. This is why the chapter of vessels is mentioned after the chapter of water. Furthermore, it is known that if something can be mentioned on two suitable occasions, it is more appropriate that it is mentioned on the first occasion and referred to it in the second. This is because if it's delayed to the second, its benefit is lost in the first. However, if it's mentioned in the first, its benefit is not lost in the second. All utensils are permissible to use except for utensils of gold and silver, and that that contains some amount of them, i.e. of gold and silver, except for a small amount of silver in times of need. Asim said, in the meaning of which, I saw the mug of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with Anas ibn Malik and it had been cracked, so he fixed it with silver. The conditions for permissibility of using silver in vessels, it must be dabba, a chain that is placed in the crack, small in quantity, silver and for need. This is due to the saying of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the meaning of which, do not drink from vessels of gold and silver, and do not eat from its dishes, for they are for them, i.e. the Jews and Christians, in this world and for you in the hereafter, agreed upon by Bukhari and Muslim.